Hello! Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel! Hey guys, how's it going? Today I am very excited because it's gonna be my BoxyCharm unboxing! This is the look that I created today with the products in the box. I am very excited about this box! It is so nice! I am <laughs> really pumped up on it! For those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box and it is approximately like $20. Inside of the box it comes with this little booklet and it tells you what the theme this month is, which is is road tripping. Then it just goes over a little brief thing on each product and how much they cost. It's really cool because BoxyCharm is such an inexpensive thing and you get full size products for the majority of the time. There's maybe one like mini size thing in it but usually the products are full sized and it's awesome. I love it. It is such an exciting thing. Someone here is going to help me unbox my BoxyCharm. So you guys don't know Jay but um, he's a Boston Terrier French Bulldog mix and one of his favorite things in the world is being held like a baby. Yeah, I love you too. So when he was a little puppy, he would never go to sleep. He would cry all the time. I would just kind of make him like a little do this. And then I would just kind of walk around the living room and I would just kind of... And he would fall asleep like that. Isn't that cute? It's, uh, it's still one of his favorite ways to just like hang out with me. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into it. Alright guys, so first thing is first in the box charm box is the... Dr. Brandt Needles No More, No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel. I'm excited about these. This is a full size product that retails for $42. Well, wow. I don't know what to expect. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's orange. You guys let me know if I look debagged. <laughs> I do, like, I have, like, natural under eye bags. That's just my life, it's always been my life. Oh, it gets kind of like tacky. Oh, it has like a, it has a cooling sensation too. Not overwhelming, you know some cooling, it's like cold, cold, this is just like very subtle. And it says that you can wear this under makeup, so. After your eye moisturizer, warm a tiny amount between the fingers and gently pat directly on bags and dark circles, use alone or under makeup. Oh, okay, so this side's drying and it feels fine. It's kind of going away, this side's still like tacky. But this side is drying nicely. Okay, well, that's, that's good to know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip in between until I need to get to the next products in the box. But that was the only face product that needed to be put on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on all of my other items. And the next item in the box is the Note Luminous Silk Compact Blush. Oh, I'm so excited. Beautiful, like, peachy, borderline, like, terracotta. And it comes with this little mirror, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my Morphe E4 brush, which is, like, my favorite blush brush. Oh, it's pigmented. Oh, my God. Okay, so that has a lot of pigment to it, so just make sure that you use a light hand. I definitely put too much on and I had to kind of blend it out, but it's like, it's still a beautiful color. It's so pretty. So summery. It's like a little sunburn and I don't know, I just, I'm about this color. So this little blush here retails for only $11.99 actually, which is amazing. That's such a good price. And then the next thing here in the box that I have is the... Chella Beauty Eyebrow Cream. Now, I love a good eyebrow product. Um, this retails for $26, which is pretty on par with things like Anastasia, which is my favorite, but the uh, benefits as well, like those things are all pretty similar. The color on this is taupe, which is nice, so hopefully it'll match up. Now it has this little brush on one end, and then, and then the other end screws off, and the product is in this which I don't know how I feel about it and the the width of this brush too is quite large. I'm really not too sure on how I'm gonna feel about this and I don't like that I could just drop this. Like I don't like that it's detached. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just like, oh. 
dig the brush in. Also, it does not have a spoolie on it, which I don't like because I use the spoolies constantly. I used to use the Anastasia Dip Brow all the time, so I feel like this is kind of going back to that because now I use the Brow Wiz pencil, so I'm a little bit out of practice, so we'll just see how this goes. I really, really don't know about... I really don't like this kind of product. Um, if you are somebody who has brows already and you just want a quick fill in, this is great. If you are somebody who doesn't have any brows and needs to create brows and needs to create hair strokes, this is not, you're ha gonna hate this. I just think that they're, I'm sorry, I just think there are better products. Like even like the dip brow is nicer. Oh God, I don't know. Realistically, it takes me 30 seconds to do my eyebrows, okay? And this is taking me so long. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. Okay, I'm gonna use my Anastasia to fix this. Um, sorry. Alright guys, the eyebrows are on. They look so intense because, because of that other product in them. I didn't actually wipe it off, which I felt like afterwards I just I should have but it's fine it's a look today today we have really intense eyebrows I love a strong brow I'm kind of into it all right cool now the next product that we have is an eyeshadow palette I love getting eyeshadow palettes so this is what it looks like it is by crown beauty it's such a nice color palette I love that it has this really light color and then like deeper kind of ones as well obviously there's no black and that always sucks it's always great to have a black and it does have a mirror the fuego this is the fuego eyeshadow collection it retails for $29.99 but this is like the size difference so just that you can see that they are quite large I'm thinking of doing like a very monochrome look to kind of match I've gotten like a vibrant really really pink blush before in my boxy charm and I'm just like oh I'm never gonna wear that like the blush is such a wearable color and it matches with this so I think I'm gonna do a very simple eye look nothing crazy at all then we're gonna go kind of monochrome it didn't come with a lip so I can just pick my own lip that'll go with it they're not named at all not even on the back actually which is kind of weird so I'm just gonna go ahead and go into this second color here so that has actually really nice pigment, um, it blends out really really easily, so so far that one color is quite nice. What can we do today? I just swatched a couple of the sheened ones, there's nothing- oh I just stuck my pinky really hard into that. And I think I want to kind of mess around with this one. I'm gonna dip into this color right here, which is kind of like terracotta. I'm just like deepening uh, the crease ever so slightly. Because I want this to be a really subtle pink, I am gonna blend a bit of that initial crease color just more over my lid and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into this color right here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that crease color again on a thinner kind of brush and then that pinky color and then I'm just gonna take the lightest one and I just popped it really subtly just in the inner corner. And that's all I'm gonna do for this eye look. Uh, I just don't want anything too, too crazy today, but I really like the palette. Like I would be very excited to do more looks with it. Everything blends out really, really nicely, really seamlessly. It just is very cooperative and the colors are just beautiful. Like it's a beautiful warm palette. And I'm just gonna quick go over the last product, which is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara has a slight bend to it. All right guys, so this is the finished look. God, I love this lip color. The lip that I used today was Party Wave, which is the ultra blotted lip Eva Gutowski and ColourPop collection one. The lip liner by ColourPop uh, BFF. So I really actually liked the mascara. The mascara retailed for $24. They are holding the curl and it's not weighing them down because I have straight lashes. So that's something that I care about. As long as they don't make them look worse or goopy. It was more like one of those ones where it, you have to build it up a little bit, which I personally like because I don't really have any lashes. Whereas I feel like if you do have lashes, then you just kind of want to throw the product on and then sort of blend it out. Where with me, if I throw too much product on, it's like, 
there's a lot happening there and and it gets blobbed everywhere and I hate that so I liked that I had to build it up a little bit that was cool for me so in total everything in the boxy charm this month was over $130 which is so cool I would say that the only thing that I wasn't really crazy about was the eyebrow product the palette is amazing the dr. Brandt under eye stuff is I think fine I'm just gonna have to use it a few more times and the blush love them this boxy charm is such a hit for me I'm so happy with it every time I get my boxy charm I get so excited I like run in I open it up I rip it apart I'm just like yes thanks a lot for watching guys and I will see you next time bye